Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar. Welcome back to the channel. And today is the third session of our JMS series. And in past two sessions, we have successfully created the JMS artifacts in WebLogic. And in last tutorial, we were we successfully submitted uh, a request and we submit we published a message to a queue. And today we will try to consume that message by creating a service which will consume that message from that particular queue. And also we will try and create multiple consumers of the same queue. And we will see that it is a one to one mapping. So for one publisher, there can only be one subscriber. So let's start. So this is a SOA project that we created. Uh, in our last session message publish service so this service uh, publishes the message to the queue so if you have not seen our previous two sessions on JMS I highly recommend you guys to check that I will mention their link in the description box so first see those tutorials and then come to this particular session now we will create a project that will subscribe to this particular queue and consume the messages so for that we'll create a new project so i am giving name as queue consumer service one because i want to create a couple of services which are which will be consuming that message so let's create the first service and we'll keep it as an empty composite for now and here from the exposed service side we will be using the JMS adapter and we want to use the same schema that we used as part of publishing the message to the queue. So we'll, we can copy this schema which is on the top project here message publish service. We can copy this schema and paste it here. So let me do that really quick. So I have successfully copied the schema from the publisher service to the service which will be consuming the message. However, it's not mandatory to use the same schema. It just will have to make sure that you're using the absolutely correct name of all the elements and the type of those elements so that it can be a replica. The schema can be a replica of the service which is publishing the message to the queue. So here, let's create a JMS adapter which will consume the message. Here operation type we will keep it as consume message. Operation name you can change or you can keep it what it is here. And under the destination name as you guys know we will be selecting the queue. And here we will need to put under the JNDI name, we will need to give the R1 connection pool. And now we will give the exact schema which we gave as part of publishing the message. So now this adapter will basically receive that message whatever is there in the queue the moment we deploy it if there, there are some messages in the queue this consumer will subscribe them consume them and then here we can create a people which will receive that message and then it's up to us what we want to do with that payload we want to save it into a database adapter we want to create a file altogether we want to do something else or probably publish to a different queue. So let's create a people process. For now, I, j I will define this later because I want to use the receive activity of my own. I'll click OK here. Give a significant name. 
I'm just keeping it as default. Here it's blank at the moment, so let's apply the receive activity on top here. Receive queue message. So here, I, the moment I wire it, it will ask me to create a variable. I can create a variable by clicking on this plus icon, and this variable will be the will be of type of the schema which we gave in the JMS adapter to consume this message. I'll click and apply. I'll check this as well. Create instance because it's the first activity, so it should be created. It it should be checked. Click on OK. So now we have received the message. So as part of this variable, we will be receiving whatever message is there in the queue. Now it's up to us what we want to do with that message. For now, I'm going to terminate the process here itself by clicking on this, by getting this uh, exit. I'll save it and I will deploy this message now and we will see because we already have a message in the queue as shown in the previous session it should automatically the moment it is deployed it should consume that message so let's check if we have that message there in that queue or not so as we can see that we have this message in the queue where the input is uh, Sanjay Prashar. We tested that in our previous session. So if you guys are following this series, you should be knowing that already. So let me just deploy the consumer service and this message should be deleted from here and we should be able to see the payload in SOA flow. So let's do that. I'm going to deploy it now. We are going to deploy it under that partition only that we created for particular for particularly for this JMS series. As we can see that deployment is finished and now let's go to Enterprise Manager and see if we ha if the instance has been created or not. So this is the Enterprise Manager. Let's see the deployed composites. Under the deployed composite we have this queue uh, consumer service one and as we can see that it has already picked one message and you see this test button is graded out because we cannot manually test it it will automatically will be triggered the moment it has um, a message into the queue which this service is actively listening to so if I go to flow instance it says aborted because we terminated that particular message that particular flow and in the receive so as you can see the entire flow works like that first the message publish service published that message and this, then this consumer one subscribed or consumed that particular message so here if we see that this input Sanjay Parashar has been consumed and at the same time the message in the queue should also be removed now. So let's check that under JMS module. This is the module that we created. And here in monitor, you see, we have zero pending messages and we had one total message and one consumed. So now let's create one more consumer of this particular queue and then publish a message and we will be able to see that only one of them will be able to receive the message whosoever will receive the message first will delete that message from the queue and that will establish the fact that uh, queue works on one to one mapping so I'm going to create a replica of this service the service one so I'm going to fast forward the entire development so that we do not unnecessarily make this video long
So I have created a replica of the service one and now service two. So they both are listening to the same queue and one of them will receive the message. So I'm going to deploy the service two now. So our service two has also been deployed. So let's check in enterprise manager. So now under our JMS demos folder, we have three services. One will con publish the message and two will be subscribing to the same queue. So to publish a message, we will test this. test it and as it says it has been published now if we check in the queue will they'll, there will not be any messages because it automatically we only this number will be increased like now the two message has been consumed however to check which one consumed that message we will go to this flow and service one consume this message and now if we go and check if service two got any instance created so we will be able to see that service 2 is not able to so there is no message so service 1 was faster so it picked the message and deleted the message from there so if I publish message into a loop for example I am publishing hundreds of messages in loop at that time if service 1 is busy then service 2 will pick the message if service 2 is busy then service 1 will pick the message but only one of them will be able to consume one message at a time so this concludes our today's demo on consuming message from queue and make understanding that how queue works as one to one mapping in our future uh, in our upcoming tutorial we will do the same with topic we will we will use our existing service to publish a message to topic and then we will try and create multiple subscribers or multiple consumers of the topic and we will be able to see that every one of them who is actively listening to the topic will receive the message so that we will be covering in our next tutorial so this is it for today. Thank you so much for your time. Take good care of yourselves and have a nice rest of the day. Take care. Bye-bye.